Welcome to this video tutorial explaining the use of a for loop to solve the sum of a variable square. Welcome to uh, Codeo Challenge 6.3 point squared. In this challenge we will provide you with a value n. You should calculate the sum of each value of n squared from 0 up to n, including n. The mathematical notation for this is written as capital sigma i to the nth power, which is also equal 0 i squared. So what I did is I wrote some code over here so that you guys can think about this in a, uh, in a, uh, a way that um, makes it a little less scary. I know a lot of people might look at this uh, uh, capital Sigma here and, and start thinking wow this is uh, this is uh, you know some craziness but just remember that the capital Sigma all that is is the same as saying the sum of and so you would use that capital Sigma notation uh, you know instead of writing out you know 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 instead of writing all that out you can use the notation capital Sigma and then you would just put one here at the bottom of the of the Sigma and then 10 at the top and so you're just telling people add all the numbers between 1 and 10 instead of writing out 1 plus 2 plus 3, etc., etc., all the way to 10. So it's just a faster way of writing the sum of. So in this situation, they're saying write the sum of the variable n and all the numbers between 0, you can see here 0, and the variable n squared. So we, I know from, from doing this already that n is equal to 5 so when you're looking at this this is all you're doing you're saying 0 times 0 which is 0 squared 1 times 1 1 squared 2 times 2 is 2 squared and so on and so forth until you get to the number 5 so we're gonna go ahead and write this code I just wanted to put this in a, in a little bit different format so that you can see it think about it and, and get the conceptualization of what this thing looks like so <clears throat> what we'll do here is we'll say total equals zero and then that's our start point and then we're going to create the for loop so we'll say for i in range in plus one and remember when you are using the range it never includes the the final number so if we already I already know the n is equal to five so if I were to just put in here n without the plus one it would stop calculating here but because uh, we put the plus one it'll include the number five so putting that plus one gets you the including in so that's why we're putting the plus one there and then <coughs> we're gonna say total equals total plus I times I and again here this is each iteration so so what this is doing is saying go through this loop and each time add your total plus each iteration so in the first loop you're doing the zeros and in the second loop you're doing one times one and then you just keep adding each iteration to itself okay now <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and finish this by saying print 
total. And we'll come over here and we will check it. <coughs> and it will work. We already know the total is the input is 5 and the output is 55. Now, um, I want to just show you that you can use the plus equal. And by doing that, you can remove this. And it just makes it a little bit quicker to, to type this. And when you use the plus equal or you use the times equal, whatever, the minus equal, all you're saying is we're going to take the value on the right and just add it to the value on the left and replace it and keep going through it until you get to the final uh, through the, and, until you get to the final iteration. So using this plus equal is just short for saying total plus uh, I times I. You just put the plus over here and you don't have to put that in there. So uh, that's another way to write this. So we can go over here and check it and it will come out good. And uh, the other thing, the other thing you can do is you could um, you could also start at zero here. You could just put zero, comma, n plus one. You can check that, and this is just your starting point, and that's your ending point. So again, that will also come out good, but just for uh, getting the shortest amount of uh, typing in there, this is the, the quickest way to do this. And so that's how you solve the uh, 6.3 squared Codeo challenge. Thank you.